we're jumping into this. So, folks, Elon Musk and Donald Trump have become bosom buddies in uh, the last little while here. Turns out Elon is pumping a ton of money into Donald Trump's campaign. And uh, uh, apparently Elon Musk earlier today hosted a town hall with America PAC uh, to uh, promote absentee and early voting. And I'm honestly, I'm honestly 50-50. We could very easily in this see Elon doing election crimes. I don't know if that's the case, but like, it's Elon Musk. Everything he touches kind of falls apart like that. And um, we're just, we're just gonna, we're gonna check it out. See what, see what's up. As a video stream. Well, that's, that, that, that's not what you need to see. One second. Boop. Uh, so I'll be able to uh, take some questions from, obviously as many questions as possible from the audience and as well from people online. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm obviously here in person. This is me, not, not a clone of me. Um, <laughs> ha, 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 ha. And the reason I'm here in person is because Pennsylvania is so important to the future of the world. So. You know, you... you you, you, <laughs> you, 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 show, you, show, you show what you, you show what matters by your actions, not your words. And my actions are: I'm here, I'm in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm here for a very important reason. Which, yeah, it's, it's which is I can't emphasize I can't emphasize enough that Pennsylvania. I don't think he thinks he's funny. He just wants other people to think he's funny desperately, quickly. You know, like he just desperately wants to be liked by people, which is a problem for him in a variety of ways that should be immediately obvious. Is I think the linchpin in this election, and this election I think is going to decide uh, the fate of America, and in, as, along with the fate of America, the fate of uh, Western civilization. Yeah. Yeah. The fate of Western civilization, huh? Tell us more. And I, I think the things we, we, we all want are simple, sense, sensible, I think common sense things. Um, you know, we, we obviously want, we want secure borders. We want safe cities, um, you know, sensible spending uh, so that we don't have crazy inflation. Uh, we want freedom of speech. We want the Constitution be, to be upheld. I wonder if he's going to be transphobic. Like, I feel, I, can, I feel like it's coming, but I'm wondering if he'll hold himself back for the sake of his trans daughter. I, and, 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 you know, you know I, I'm, I'm being told at times that these are like right-wing values. I'm like, you, are you insane? <laughs> this, this is literally the fundamental values that made America what it is today. What do you mean he hates her? I mean, it'd be nice if he did restrain himself, you know, for her sake. It'd be, it would be nice if he wasn't trying to get her killed. And anyone who's against those things is fundamentally anti-American. And the hell with them. Yeah. Like, I, I can imagine fewer personal hells than seeing your dad spending uh, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, specifically to fuel a movement that wants you dead. So, like, you know, I, I think it'd be nice if maybe he, like, checked himself. He's, he's probably not going to, but, like... Yeah. <laughs> I see I'm getting a lot of agreement from, the, from everyone in this room. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, and, and you know, I, so I, I actually lived in, uh, in Pennsylvania for three years, by the way. I'm no stranger to the state. I lived in the city for three years. I went to school here. So, um, you know, so I, I, I know the state. Um, I'm, not, I'm not some, you know, just arrived situation. You know, I've been here, spent three years of my life here. 
So um, it's, a, it's a great state. Love it. You know? And um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it, it was awesome. But you know, the thing is, like, I was talking to um, friends of mine who, like, like when I went to Japan, um, it was very dangerous at the time. Uh, but everyone thought it would get better over, t you know, would get better as the years went on. Um, you know, one of the issues was like there would students would get killed from time to time, and, and that was was pretty bad, obviously. Um, and I was talking to someone who recently graduated from Penn. They said actually it's worse, and I'm like, it's worse? What what the hell is going on? You know, it, it's like it's like, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the reality is that if, if, if someone is a violent criminal, uh, uh, you know, uh, where they either are unable to control their violence or they like it, if you do not incarcerate them, they will hurt people. That's what it comes down to. So. No one's advocating for not imprisoning violent criminals, though. Like this is this is the thing. Like you create this entire straw manned movement of like, oh, oh yeah, Democrats don't want murderers in prison anymore. And it's like, wh where are you getting that? You're literally pulling that out of your ass. Oh my God, Foxbat! I get it. I get. I get it that he wanted. He wants his daughter dead. I get it. All I said was it would be really nice for her sake if she didn't have to see her dad like openly call for her execution that would be nice that would be fucking nice that's all i'm trying to say that would be nice because that's where the fucking but the bar is so fucking low that i'm like oh man it would be nice if you know i i feel like he's gonna call for his daughter's execution but like you know maybe maybe on on some level he's not gonna do that but like, uh, yeah, okay, okay, no, fuck it. All transphobes want, want every one of us dead. Okay, there we go. Are you happy? Are you happy? Is that good? Or should we hope for a better future? Should we hope for something better than just like transphobes are going to want us dead forever and there's nothing we can do to change that? So I guess we might as well die. Like, no, come on. Just let me, just let me like have like, uh, like, oh man, it would be nice if like this, this trans girl's dad didn't want her dead. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice if my dad didn't want me dead, you know? But, you know, whatever. So if, if you don't put hardened, hardened criminals in jail, they will, they will kill people. That's what it comes down to. And that's, unfortunately, the uh, situation we have here is, is that the Democratic Party will not put hardened criminals in, in prison. And, and so they roam free and they prey upon you. No, I'm miserable. Don't make your misery other people's problems. Okay? Like, my God. Um, and your kids, and your family, and your friends. This is insane. Um, I, how can we be, you know, the most powerful country in the world? But, like, fuck. I, I, every day, I go out here, and I look at fucking people who want me dead, and who want all of the people in my community dead, and, you know, it, it just, it sucks. It sucks. I look, I stare into that abyss, I do that every day, and, you know, it, it tears me up inside, because I know that, like, my dad is, like, one bad day, one bad day away from being Elon Musk. I, I, I get it. It hits home. I get it. It rips me apart inside. It makes me really sad. But, like, fuck! Just... Have a little bit of hope here. Have a hope that things can get better. Otherwise, like, what the fuck are any of us doing here? If you have no hope that things are going to get better, that people can change, what the fuck are we doing here? I just want to have that hope. I'm hopium pilled. Good. Mr. Miyagi circle jerking. Wait, what what? Elaborate. 
Kraken wise, cool. Hey, Foxbat, you're not human cancer, but what is bothering me, and I'm not telling you to fuck off and go anywhere else, but what I am telling you is have some fucking hope. Reach down into your asshole, get some hope out of there, okay? Not telling you to fuck off, but I am telling you, like, the attitude you have is hurting you. And so, like, it's frustrating to me because every day I battle against that same fucking insecurity that you're battling with in chat. I deal with that. And so, like, it's frustrating to me to be like, oh, man, it'd be nice if this genocidal maniac didn't want his daughter to die, too. And your response to that is to write, like, a, like a multi-paragraph essay in chat about how, no, he definitely, absolutely wants, to die, wants her to die and would be willing to do it himself. And it's like, okay, I mean, okay, you're entitled to that opinion. But, like, fuck. Like, if, that, if that's where we're at, I, I should just shut down stream. Like, what's the point? What, what's the point of continuing to stare into the horror if all it does is make us all want to die? No, but, but like, seriously, if that's, if that's the mindset we're going with, why, why are we here? What, what am I doing? Am I just a vehicle to provide you all misery? If that's what I am, I need to shut, I need to, I need to close up shop. Like, does that make sense? If all I am doing is blighting your lives, then I, then I should be done. Like, just wash my hands of it. Go do literally anything else with my life. Go die in a gutter. It will apparently make many of you much happier if all I am is a vehicle to immiserate you. Go drink your fucking water. And, and, it's, and you're not, it's, it's not safe to walk around our cities. What the hell is going on? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Soros, honestly, misanthropic. You know, he's, he's, I, I, for so, someone who has, um, you know, so, sort of claims to be doing good, but actually he is not, you know. He is tearing down the fabric of society. So, terrible. Yeah. Um, so, but I think it's, 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 it's just unbelievable that we, that, that, like, you should. You know, like, it's incredible. He stands up on this stage and is just like, yeah, yeah, uh, George Soros, uh, you know, uh, pe pe bad people are out there. Uh, it's, it's really unbelievable. Crime's going up. And it's like, he, he's just lying. There, there's literally nothing to keep him accountable in this situation. I'd be able to feel safe walking around American cities. Um, and it's not just, you know, it's, Philadelphia has a challenge. Um, New York has a challenge. Uh, every major city in the US, like my, you know, my mom lives in New York, for example. Three of her friends have been assaulted on the street this year. You know? Can you tell me uh, what Soros has done to piss off the right and who he is? 
He is an incredibly wealthy individual who uh, is a liberal, and so he tends to donate more money to left-wing or liberal causes or groups. And uh, that has, in, in, in turn, he's also Jewish, and that has spurred a bunch of anti-Semitic speculations that he is the head of this global uh, Jewish conspiracy to uh, destroy America. That that's that that is the obsession that that I just uh, described it in a nutshell. Yeah. Also, uh, he he survived the Holocaust because that's how old he is. So, as a child, he he survived the Holocaust. You know, it's it's like, and it's getting worse. Um, and now, if when she t- uh, takes her dog for a walk, she has to stay, you know, inside of the building so that. So she can call for help if need be. This is not the future we want. Um, and and if we get if we get four more years of this, I mean we're gonna be because because notice they'll they will uh, dog whistle about George Soros when Elon Musk is literally colluding with the Republicans, and also a huge billionaire donor to their campaigns. You know, like like. It, this is not a critique of bill of billionaires coming from the right wing. It's a critique of specifically the Jew, like the the one left leaning Jewish one. Fully Mad Max, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's, yeah, it's they like, love oh, Peter Thiel. It's, it's nice to watch a Mad Max movie, but we don't want to be in the Mad Max movie, okay? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> The world would be a better place if Elon Musk just went and did open mic comedy nights and bombed every, like, every other day. The world would be a w- much better place. So, yeah. Um, you know, and, and then the, the, the whole border thing is just insane. Um, you know, you know, I always want to try to figure out what is the truth of the matter? What's really going on? So with on the border situation, it's like, is, is it real or is it not real? So I went there in person, and I just literally live-streamed what I saw. And, the, the, you know, our border looks like World War Z, okay? It's like zombie apocalypse. You know, it's insane. You know, uh, just casually referring to immigrants as zombies. You know creatures that get slaughtered in mass in the movie he references so this is if you don't have a border you don't have a country yeah i mean we're just saying like you know we 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 have to have real borders um and or if you don't have real borders you don't have a real country and obviously as as someone who's an immigrant i'm pro-immigrant i just want to make sure that people come here are going to be assets to society and that that they're going to raise our standard of living you know, it's, it's, I think it's like, I think the, the sort of sports team analogy is, is a good one. So, like, let's say you're, you know, pro sports team, you want to win the championship, then, well, you want aces on your team, obviously, because they help the whole team win, you know, so that same, the same is true for immigration. If, if, you know, if we have this sort of equivalent of, like, you know, Kobe Bryant or Steph Curry or LeBron or something like that, they want to join the team. Like, absolutely, of course. They like, do you like winning? <laughs> yeah, okay. But if they can't play basketball, they shouldn't be joining. <laughs> so that, that's, that's real important. But, like, e- Elon, you, you can't play basketball either. Like... You under you understand that like that's a terrible analogy for you, right? Important. And um, yeah, and then something that doesn't get a lot of attention is the fact that the federal government is spending um, America into bankruptcy. Uh, you know, the, the which is that's not how the federal government works, ding dong. Crazy. It's sort of. Uh, yeah, that, and that's really what leads to inflation, is that when the, when the government s- spends more than it brings in, that's what causes inflation. Yeah, so it's just a- I just don't understand how someone so stupid can become so rich. I mean, it's literally, it, it really is like, the, the order of events is 
get gets wealthy because he's like the son of a of a billionaire emerald miner um magnet and then oh that got wealthy off of apartheid and then oh he gets some of that money and he's in college and oh wouldn't you know it he knows these people who have this genius idea to make a bank but it's online and like it's like, oh, I guess it's a pretty good idea. I, I have a lot of money. And so then he puts money into it. And wow, wow it, it succeeds. Like, it's not, it's not rocket science to be like, oh, yeah, a bank online would be really convenient. That's not, it, it's not like he had this cunning intellect to be able to see what could be. Like, no, that, that's pretty obviously useful. <laughs> and so, like... Then he got ungodly levels of wealthy and has just been dicking around ever since. It's really just he he completely won the lottery uh, when it comes to like birth wealth and when it comes to like one good investment. The pernicious tax. Um, so there has to be uh, much. We, we have to radically reduce the amount of government spending. Uh, so that we don't uh, rack up a, a debt that hey, is impossible beards. to repay and drive the country to bankruptcy. <laughs> oh. I mean, just basic stuff, really, you know? Yeah, again, people... Uh, historically in America, we associate, like, wealth with, like, business acumen and talent but like we we've turned wealth into a very different thing than what it used to be and even back then it had like a whole lot of just like oh yeah you got you get born rich you you get to die rich you know like it, it really is it boiled down most often that they shouldn't be controversial topics <laughs> it's just like normal <laughs> common sense exactly um and, and, you know, you're seeing all these attacks on freedom of speech, and they're, like, attacking me for freedom of speech. It's like, it's like, yo, that's the First Amendment. Like, literally the first one. You, you banned free speech on your platform, Elon. You literally banned Ken Klippenstein for reporting on uh, the J.D. Vance dossier. Like, you, you don't believe in free speech, bruh. You know, there's a... Like, like he's he's literally not in favor of the thing. Like he he cannot tell a truth, which is probably why he gets along so well with Trump. It's a high priority. He yeah, banned the word "cis." And the reason they had the First Amendment was because you know the countries people came from. If you spoke your mind, you'd be imprisoned or killed. That's why you have it. That's really important. And and then the right to bear arms is also really important. That's there to protect you know. I mean, the, the Second Amendment is there to protect the First Amendment. Oh, so. damn. Got him. As, as soon as the government can disarm the people, they can do anything they want. And you've seen, you've, we've seen this in one country after another. They take the guns away from the people, then they, then they do fake elections, and then the, the people try to protest and they just get shot. That's what happened in, in Venezuela recently. They had, a, they had a fake election, Maduro lost, uh, like massively lost, like, you know, 70% loss. And he's like, oh, no, I won. And <laughs> everyone's like, oh, you didn't win. There were big protests in the street. But the thing is that Chavez, when he, went, when he came into power, took away everyone's guns. So now you're facing, you know, soldiers with assault rifles. Are you going to throw some sticks at them or something? Use finger guns? Um, it doesn't work. So... Maduro, even though he lost the election, is still in power. And that's the, that's the kind of risk, risk that we face. So uh, but we've got to do everything possible to protect the, the, the Constitution. Um, and I think this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, bud, Constitution, woo! So, the, the, you know, for all those reasons, that's why you know, after thinking about it hard, it, it, it was very clear to me that uh, uh, Donald Trump has to, be, has to win this election. It really does. Oh, God. Um. Hey, Polaire. Yeah. 
And, and so I, I think the, the most important thing that, uh, that you can do, and what I'm asking everyone to do, is make sure that you're registered to vote, uh, that you, you know, that you, and, and then vote early, and, and then uh, talk to your friends and family and everyone you know to make sure that they're registered to vote, because Monday is the deadline for voting registration. Um, and honestly, this is, if, if there's ever a time to be a pest with your friends and family, this is the time. You know, just, yeah. This is the time. Everyone you know, everyone you meet, everyone you run into, reg register them to vote, and then get, and, and then get, get them to vote immediately. Um, and this, we only have until Monday night to, to register to vote. So the, the next, basically, three days are essential. Um, and we, we you know, like, it, it, it kind of kills me inside that, like, Elon Musk is out here doing more impactful electoral advocacy than so many, so many highly motivated people on, uh, on Twitter. Like, it, it, it kind of kills me inside a little bit, you know? Like, oh, God, we, we, could, we could actually do something if we wanted. <laughs> but, man, go, go check your registration. Early vote if you can, folks. It's an important election year. We could, I, I think we see the, this election decided in Pennsylvania by it could be 10,000 votes. It could be 1,000 votes. It could be 10 votes. It could be some very tiny number. So every incremental person makes, is, a, is a huge difference. Why vote early? Because um, it's easier than so, voting on election day. You know, I, I, I haven't been and you won't have active before. Like on election day, you won't have to put up with long lines. You won't have to, uh, you won't have to worry about any like, trouble going down at the polls. You, you, you get to just walk away and mind your business. Before, I'm, I'm politically active now because I think uh, the future of America and the future of civilization is at stake. So. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, please go all out registering people. Three, we have three days. Let's go. Um, anything you possibly do. So with, with that, I can, I, I'm happy to uh, answer questions or take comments uh, from the, the audience. And Yeah. You voted yesterday? Excellent, Eddie. <laughs> Thank you. Mailed your ballot a while ago? Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so embarrassing, dog. We'll do one question per person, okay? Yeah, I have the mic. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Alright. Here. Elon! No First of all, welcome to Ridley Township. Thank you. Delaware County, and welcome to Ridley School District in our beautiful high school. Yeah. Because you made this your first stop, we'd love to make you an honorary Ridley Raider. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to give you the shirt, football jersey. Sports is big in Ridley, big in Delaware County. This is must. 67 counties in Pennsylvania. We got to turn every one of them red. Great. Not good. Thank you. I, I mean, Holly Oomst, it, it really is. Sir, how far apart do you like me to spread my legs? And how tight should I clench my butthole? Like, it, it really is. Like, yes, please, please, Daddy, Daddy Elon, please acknowledge me. Thank you very much. First question is, what can all of us here, everybody in this auditorium, everybody watching the live stream, what can we do now to make sure we get Donald Trump across the finish line in Pennsylvania and everywhere else in this country? Yeah, this, it's, it's... I would like to point out Elon Musk has no charisma. Well, that's the great thing about that, uh, Catalina Gearbox. You don't have to point that out because he do doesn't have good... He, does, he doesn't have that. <laughs> Fundamentally, for the next... We, it, it, it's immediately apparent to all of us that he does not have that. Three days, 
just everyone needs to focus on, on registering friends, family, acquaintances, everyone you know. Because if, if you're not registered by Monday, that's why I'm, I'm being sort of repetitive about this and really emphasizing this. Anyone not registered uh, by Monday evening, or if they're registered incorrectly, their vote won't count. They won't be able to vote. So we got three days. Uh, it's all about registration, 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 every single day. And like I said, this election could be decided by a handful of people. It could just be that is voting a, on Monday a bit of depends on where you live. On, on voter registration uh, decides the entire future of civilization. So that's why I'm saying, man, this is cool, if there's cool, ever cool, a weekend cool, to spend cool, going cool, hog wild on registration, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thank you so much for being here. It means so much, and I think it, it's really in line with your character as I've come to know you from listening to you um, speak in interviews. Um, in addition to voting for Donald Trump, what can the average citizen do to help train I, AI to be truth-seeking? <laughs> Finally lunchtime. I get an hour of free time. Michaela Rose, thank you for the $10 super chat. And uh, folks, we have been going for five hours. If you've been enjoying the stream, please consider dropping those subs and donos. I'd very much appreciate it. Please hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on the YouTube stream. But I do have to say here, he just got asked, asked how do we train AI to not be so woke? And like that... You, you you can't you can't i mean theoretically could you train a white supremacist ai bot sure but would you ever as a company want to be the one that owns the white supremacist ai robot and what what on earth would you do with it what like what how to be more truth seeking a a a k a k a a you know, how do we try how do we train this bot to be the most transphobic it can possibly be? Um, well, I think d definitely, you know, publicly pushing to ensure that that AI is truth seeking and is is not sort of politically correct or which is means factually incorrect. <laughs> um, uh, it, that's that's a big deal. Like I just um, speak out on on social media um, and and uh, certainly complain loudly when, when other companies uh, attempt to essentially program their AI with a dystopian San Francisco Berkeley uh, philosophy. Uh, and if you want to know where that philosophy leads, just, just walk around the streets of San Francisco. Uh, be, but be careful, because uh, do not get killed by a violent drug zombie, because uh, uh -huh. they're all over the San, downtown SF. It's insane. Uh -huh. um, so you can see what, you know, where, where, where does that philosophy lead? And unfortunately, I think a lot of the AI is being programmed, um, you know, at least implicitly with that uh, misanthropic dystopian uh, philosophy. Yeah. Hi, Ilan. <laughs> right here. <laughs> On your uh, right. Sorry, I saw with the lights in my eyes and stuff, it's hard to see, so. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Jasmine. I'm originally from Malaysia and I've been here 20 years. I came here legally. I see a lot of immigration and a lot of immigrants who yeah. came here legally, they all support Trump and yes. they want a strong economy. Yeah. They want, you know, family values and all that. And um, oh, by the way, I came here because my daughter goes to school here. She told me to come over. Um, I used to be really, really active in promoting, you know, Trump campaign four years ago, and I got burned out, and I'm so frustrated, and and, and it's all because of the cheating. So, what are we yeah. going to do with that? Well, there's a there's a very non-zero chance here that someone asks him whether or not they should bring guns to the polls. Like we're we're really that close, you know. Like, I got so burned out with the cheating. What do we do about that? Like, this woman's asking to, be, like, is looking for permission to be worse. Like, that's what she's asking for. She's asking for the redacted answer. 
the, 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 there is, I think, some amount of cheating that takes place. It's, it's hard because they've, you know, when you when you have mail-in ballots and uh, no no sort of proof of citizenship, it becomes almost impossible to prove cheating is the issue. Um, so a lot of people, you know, a lot of people on the Dem side will say there's no cheating, there's no cheating, and I'm like, you're, you've made it impossible to actually prove that, it's, that, that there's cheating. But the, statistically, there are some very strange things that happen that, uh, that, that are statistically incredibly unlikely. Um, so, you know, there's always this sort of question of like, say, the Dominion voting machines. It, it is weird that the, you know, I, I think they're used in Philadelphia and in Maricopa County. Um, but not in a lot of other places. Doesn't that seem like a heck of a coincidence? You know, I, I you know what? I hope they keep going with this. That that's my my main takeaway from this is that uh, I hope I hope they keep running with this because please, by all means, depress the turnout of your voters, the, depress the turnout of your base, please, begging you. So, so I think yeah, yeah, it's all rigged. Uh, mm -hmm. That is, you know, I, I we should, uh, in my view, we should only do um, paper ballots hand counted. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm I'm a I'm a technologist. I know a lot about computers, and I'm like, the last thing I would do is trust a computer program. Um, <laughs> Bro, you s the last thing I would do is trust a computer program. You literally make cars that you describe as self-driving. What's wrong with you? I wouldn't trust, I wouldn't trust a computer program with anything. Y you literally sell a line of cars that are sold on the basis of you can trust them with your life. You don't even need a driver in the seat. Because it's just too easy to hack. It's too easy to add just one line. Oh my god, um, dude. Oh and my it's god. it's really difficult to hack paper ballots. So, uh, you know, in, in post He's voting. He's so dumb. With, with uh, you know, pr proof of, yeah, with, with ID. Which, by the way, every country has. I mean, like, almost every country that, that has democratic elections requires in-person uh, voting with voter ID. This is weird. It's, it's super weird to not have that. Um, I think that's the only way to uh, effectively uh, address fraud. Um, you know, g given that we are where we are, we are today, I think we just need uh, a very big margin of victory. You know, there's, there's, yeah. If the margin of victory is big enough, then, it, you know, as I say, it's got to beat the cheat. Yeah. So that's it. Elon, um, first off, you're my hero, and I love your sneakers. Oh, God. Elon, first of all, your dick is so big. How do, how do you make it so big? Thank you. Um, so if you do choose to be the uh, head of the Department of Government Efficiency. Yeah, those. Yep. God. What do you think about we stop giving money to other countries such as Israel, Ukraine, and we stop funding forever wars that most likely is going to the deep state anyway? Yeah. Well, I, I think in, in general the, the, the amount of waste that happens with the, with the federal government is, is really staggering. It's a staggering amount of waste of taxpayer money. Um, and if, if we're, you know, for any given expenditure, we have to say, well, what does this do for the citizens of America? Like, how is this good for the people of America? That's, it's their money. Like, for some weird reason, a lot of, you know, a lot of people in uh, the sort of, you know, state or whatever, the politicians, they, they, they seem to forget that the money being spent is, is your money. And, and if it's not spending... Yeah, you know... Kind of like how SpaceX is just being given your money. You know, wh weird stuff, huh? We weird how that, that happens. How a lot of your money is going directly to this man. Being spent in a way that is beneficial to the American people, it's a misuse of the funds. So, yeah. 
I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of money that's being spent where, where sort of illegals are getting more benefits than citizens. Like, what illegals. the heck is that? Illegals. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Hi, Elon. So as we bring government spending and look inward to our... There, can I just say... More benefits than citizens. That, that's not true. That, it's literally not true. Citizens get so many more benefits than undocumented immigrants. It's ridiculous. Like, what the heck is that? That doesn't make any sense. Makes, yeah. In Hi. fact, it makes so little sense, it's almost like I made it up. So as we bring government spending and look inward to our country, I am a government employee. I care about innovation and efficiency. With your vision for a Department of Government Efficiency, you know, what can we do? How can we support you? And also, how can we spotlight the needs of people in North Carolina? The body count is abnormally underreported. You know, what can we do to press on that and to support people within our country? Sure. Well, I, I, do, think, I do think that uh, you know, it, government efficiency is, is not simply about reducing the size of government, but making sure that there are incentives for, for excellent work. You know, so if somebody's, you know, you, you, whatever you incent will happen. So if you have incentives for excellent work, and if, at, at, by the same token, if someone's not doing excellent work, they're, they're exited, just, just like normal. It's really what happens in a properly functioning company is that you reward, you reward at, or, or, th or think of a sports team. You, the, the players that are doing well, uh, they get rewarded, and the players that are not doing well, they exit the team. And that's, that should just be how it works. Um, and I think that, that'll have a profound effect on the, on the effectiveness of government because so whatever you incent will happen. So if the incentives are aligned with, with you know, with saving people in North Carolina, uh, and, uh, then that's what will happen. But if, 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 if you know, if you have a, a, a sort of a failed response Whoa. to the disasters, to the hurricane disasters. There's a, no there's a lot of stumbling, fire. but. Well, okay, what do you expect? No one's gonna take action. You know, so people have, they have if, if there's, if there's a track record of failure, you have to exit the people who failed. Otherwise, people look, will look around and say, well, I guess I don't need to do anything because, you know, the, you, no, nothing bad happens to you even if you do a terrible job and people die, which is insane. What are you talking about, so. bro? Hi, Elon. Hi, Elon. Can you tell us about your trip to Israel? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it was a very moving trip. So, um, you know, there's, yeah, it's a very moving trip. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'd be, I'd be happy to, to tell you about that trip. Um, except that, that, that was a trip that lives in Canada, in a different school in, in Canada. Definitely one of the toughest. Holy shit, dog! <laughs> regions to, and, you know, like how do you what what how, you know, what what set of actions result in the greater good in in in, uh, in Israel? I mean, obviously, you, you obviously you cannot have people who, you know, if if they want to slow Yo. down in Israel, you, you got to stop that. There's no, you know, there's no way. Uh, My mom was undocumented for the longest time. Even though she was white it was super hard to do anything. Like we were poor. We are still poor my mom is only here on a green card now. Well, Electra, good luck. Good, good luck to you and your mom. Uh, it's... It is not easy being undocumented in America. Like, at all. You, you walk on pins and needles all the time. Like, if something bad happens to you, there's literally no social safety net. Like, it, 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 can, it can really, really be bad. Um, my heart goes out to you, Electra, and I, I am glad that you and, you know, your mom's on a green card now. That, that certainly helps. Um, and thank you for the $10 super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> Those people either need to be... that they killed or, or incarcerated, or they will simply try to kill more Israelis. This is what, what it amounts to, obviously. And then what it I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah. Those people either need to be that they killed or, or incarcerated, or they will simply try to kill more Israelis. This is 
I wonder if he makes any distinction between like Palestinians at large and like you know Hamas. It could be Cuban. Thank you. Oh God, we we jumped back. I'm sorry. The citizens of America. Yes, on that, and to support people within our country. I mean, this. Oh my God, why? Why are you doing? Why? God damn. There's, there's a lot of money that's being spent where they're, they're exited. Just just like normal. They, they killed or, or incarcerated, or they will simply try to kill more Israelis. This is what, what it amounts to, obviously. And they want to kill Americans too, by the way. Um, you know, it, it generally, like Israel is, is referred to as the little Satan in America. We are the big Satan. Uh, that, that's what the Ayatollah calls us. So, you know, so I think, um, you know, I, I, I think a lot of what's happening there is uh, people are being taught to hate, uh, you know, in, in Gaza from when they're like children. They're taught to hate. Um, and that, that's really the thing that, that, that needs to stop for there to be, uh, you know, long term, long term peace, hopefully, is that you, that you just cannot have the kids be taught to hate from the moment they can talk. Uh, that, that's fundamental. So, yeah. So, you know, so I, I think there's, 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 it's kind of a three-step process, process there, which is, you've, I've mentioned one has to do the difficult thing, which is to, <laughs> yes, eliminate a moss, exactly. Um, and then, um, so, and then the, the you know, any, I think also going, going forward, anyone who's teaching hatred in, the, in Gaza or elsewhere, you know, they, they need to stop doing that. That's, that can't be acceptable. We, and we have to stop yeah, peop, you know, kids being taught to hate America in, in, in America. So. Yeah, we need to stop that. All this America hating in schools needs to stop. Like, they, these people live in a different reality, dog. And, and, and then, the, the, then the, th the third thing that's also very important is that there has to be economic prosperity in Gaza. So this is very difficult. It's like, how, how do you sort of, for, you know, after terrible things have been done, you, you, you then have to sort of, you know, you have to, have, you have to bring prosperity to Gaza. You know, and, and, and that's, that's the thing that will ensure Provided kids are not taught to hate, and there's long-term prosperity, I think there will be peace in Gaza. And we, we see an example of that after World War II, uh, where with Germany and Japan, uh, you know, they, they were defeated. They, they obviously did terrible things, uh, but changed the education system. And unlike World War I, we helped rebuild Japan and Germany. The Marshall Plan. Instead of exacting vengeance, America insisted we're going to help rebuild Germany, we're going to help rebuild Japan, and now they're our allies. And yeah, we made a ton of money doing that. Like, that's... The Marshall Plan laid the groundwork for American Empire's expansion. Like, that's... That's one of the reasons we're a global superpower today. It wasn't out of pure benevolence. It was to open up the doors to American business in those regions. And there's been no war ever since. No war ever since. And I want to say congratulations. Did you just skip the whole Hiroshima thing, bro? Congratulations on the successful redocking of... Why, yes, he did. Your rocket. And I'm going to go... Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it was a great week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had the, 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 the Tesla sort of, uh, sort of cool autonomous car and, and robot stuff, which I think is going to be really, really great. Um, you know, I think, you know, who, who wouldn't want their own personal C-3PO R2-D2? <laughs> It'd be awesome, you know? Um, so I, I think that, that we're, we're going to build, build some awesome 
like help, helper robots and autonomous cars and uh, and then um, th I mean this is a good day F fate is smiling upon upon us here we, we, thank you and, and we, we you know we, we caught the rocket which is just totally nuts you know you see the yeah, that, that, that rocket booster, it's, it's, it's the, the largest, heaviest flying object ever made, and it, it just got caught by Megazilla arms. You know, kind of like a you know, karate kid, but, but, but bigger. Uh, uh -huh. Catching the fly with uh -huh. the chopsticks, you know. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah. my question is, do you... He sounds so miserable, because he can never be happy. Like, it, it, his disposition precludes it. Do you think there is a shadow government behind the... <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, the people he got to come to this are absolutely lunatics. Oh my god. Do you think that there's a there's a shadow government run by lizard people? Biden Harris administration. I, I mean it's and, well, let me put it this way, it's not Biden. <laughs> <laughs> we know that for a fact. Okay. Um I the the dude just like barely got two functional neurons, so you know, it's it's like and he just seems to be at the, at the beach a lot, and he's obviously not in charge. Uh, so, I, I mean, when the polls started going low on Biden, he, he you know, he, he, he was saying, oh, I'm, he's staying in the race, he's staying in the race, but then I guess the I'm real power is that he told him he's not. Race. You know? like, so, so who you, uh, is like, it that's behind him? Hmm, who is it who's behind him that's controlling all the strings, Elon? What group? We know Obama, okay? But Obama... I mean, I... The Roth... Oh my God, it's like a grab bag of conspiracies. Nancy Pelosi, the Rothschilds. Oh my God, Obama. I'm just as curious as you are. Um, you know, it, it is... It is uh... As far as I can determine, there isn't any one sort of puppet master. It's more like there's a thousand or, I don't know, a lot. So, <laughs> but I mean, I'd like to talk to them to understand more about, listen, what are your goals, pup puppet masters? <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> Man, did... God needs God needs to make this guy bomb at more comedy uh, sets. Like my my God, he he needs to be taught humility. He he should not be trying to make these jokes. I mean, maybe I agree with some of them. It's possible, oh. uh, but but uh, maybe he agrees with some of them, huh? I wonder which ones. Looks at all of the white supremacist anti-Semitic memes he likes on Twitter. But it's it's just obvious that that Biden's on a charge. It's obvious that Kamala's on a charge. I mean, the, the, the Kamala, they just replaced the, the Biden puppet with the Kamala puppet, um, very obviously. And, and so you can tell, like, if the teleprompter stops working, then the puppet stops, breaks. And it's like, oh. <laughs> the, the puppet just starts looping because the teleprompter broke. Um, I don't have a teleprompter. I can just talk like a normal human. So, so I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think there's, it's not, from what I can tell, it's not one puppet master, it's many, but... Uh, you know, um, interesting to see the crossover between the Epstein client list and Kamala's puppet masters. <laughs> hmm, bold move, Elon, considering Kamala Harris isn't on the Epstein flight logs and Donald Trump is. He's also photographed with him at parties and on the record saying that he and Epstein like, like him young. <laughs> I bet I bet there's a lot of names that appear in both lists. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did he too. Can you hire something, to Ben? Did he did it? <laughs> Elon, uh, my name is Gregory Stenstrom. I'm from here, Delaware County. There's, there's two people who know me. Uh, in my hands, you asked earlier uh, if you'd like to go to a hand count. We have three federal suits right now. Uh, one, because we know for a fact, and we have proof, that the election code in the machines in Dominion and Hart and Civic are fraudulent here, right here in Delaware County. The Secretary of State for their elections, Tom, Jonathan Marks, admitted this in court last week. We, wow, he did? In court, 
on a transcript. I didn't I'd read about that. For some reason, well, the, the, of course the, you didn't. For some reason, the, uh, How many people the, the legacy me? media didn't, forgot to report about that one. How many people here know me? Quite a few. I, 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 I mean, I, I usually keep up with these things, and I did not. We have no idea who you are, sir. I know that. Well, we're also co-defendants, Leah Hoops and myself, also from Delaware County, were co-defendants with President Trump and Rudy Giuliani. Oh, boy, guys. <laughs> ...in a defamation suit where we proved over 952 days that there was massive election fraud in 2020. We proved it in court. It's a matter of public record. We also have the proof that the election machines that are currently being used are fraudulent. We have videos right now that I can show you of ballot boxes being stuffed here in Delaware County, Montgomery County, Chester County, and across the state. Okay. We have that video. We have submitted this to the federal courts in three federal cases. We have a, a SCOTUS case right here. Yeah. And the SCOTUS case is just simple. It asks the DOJ to remove, rescind their policy not to investigate election fraud. Which seems crazy. We are being blocked. Yeah, I mean, blocked, this, this DOJ that is. That certainly is seems great, but crazy. No, 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 just take the, the J out of the name, you know. What else, what do you think? Department of Injustice. What I'd like you to do, Elon, is wow. not take too much How time. Original. I know this is kind of a shock, but we have a book here, in Parallel Election. I have well, the Supreme Court case. He's not going to read yeah. that book. And I have the federal suits Are you kidding here. me? We've called your people. We've called the people who are supposed to be helping. We yeah. have hundreds of people Dog. right now ready. Yeah. They're out taking videos. They're training poll workers. And we are not getting support from many of the people in the first front rows here. And their pictures, if you want to know who they are, are in this book. Well, let's, let's, let's. And their pictures are in this book? Uh, okay. We're getting into weird territory I, here. What I recommend, what I recommend is, is, is to, to po post, post content on, on the X platform, and then, and then people can, 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 can argue and say it's right or wrong, or, and, and, and but, you know. uh, what, what I would say is post content on twitter.com. You know, if you have videos or, or evidence, then, then post them publicly on, on, on social media. And, and then people can, uh, you know, it, it, judge, judge for themselves, exactly. Okay, great. Excellent. They're, Thank they're, you. they're on Twitter, sir. But, <laughs> but, but, but it, it, anyway, let's, let's. Show me what you let's got. Let's not get contentious. This is a, I think, you know, teamwork makes the dream work here. Oh, my God. Um, and, uh, it, 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 whatever the, the situation, I don't want to dissuade anyone from voting. It's very important to vote. Uh, so, uh, you know, any, any actions with respect to voting machines and what, whatnot, we, we certainly want to put them under intense scrutiny. But uh, it's, nonetheless, I, everyone needs to vote. And like I said, if, if, there's, if you leave here with one thing, the goal is to, is to register as many people as possible to vote. That is the goal, and we only have until Monday night. That is the goal. One mission. Bam. Hi, Elon, thank you for being here. Um, first, I want to thank you as somebody with a spinal cord injury for being innovative because not many people are. I won't take up the time, but 18,000 people a year are injured. Um, so thank you. Um, but Absolutely, and I'm hopeful that uh, Neuralink can do a lot, actually, you know, uh, initially providing uh, the ability for anyone who's lost the brain-body connection to be able to interface with their phone and computer faster than a human with working hands, which is, I think, really cool. Oh, God. Um, and then, but down the road... Yeah, it's, uh, it's better than I using it's, your hands. It's possible sure, to restore sure, but... a whole body functionality. Um, with a, if you have a neural link um, in the motor cortex that then shunts uh, past where the neurons are damaged in the spine, um, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that long-term you can actually restore uh, people's ability to walk and use their hands. Uh -huh. I, I, oh, I appreciate it. I would love, I would love to work with you on uh, getting support around here. But um, well, lots yeah. In, in, in fact, well, well, one of the things I, you know, and, and, and to be to be fair, the, the FDA has been within the context of their current rules have, has been actually quite supportive. They've given us uh, sort of express lane, you know, because they've seen the quality of the work and uh, the sophistication of the technology. They, they have given us sort of fast track approval, but. But still, the you know our progress is limited by uh, regulatory issues, 
And that's the same thing that's happening with... with this guy really does feel like a character from, like... Uh, what's the name of the uh, capitalism in space? It was made by um, people who did Fallout New Vegas. What's the name of that game? The Outer Worlds, I think. I think... Like, like, he's literally like a caricature of an actual person. SpaceX is like, SpaceX can build a giant rocket faster than the license can be processed by the, by the government, which is insane. Um, so, he sounds like Mr. House. You know, he I, really I does. Like one of the most fundamental things about me supporting, and, and, and maybe, the, maybe the, the biggest showstopper of all for me in terms of, uh, of, of why I, I feel Donald Trump must win um, is that we have to uh, have sensible regulations. Um, we have so many regulations. Last time I checked... We, hey, remember all those Project 2025 uh, training videos that talk about how regulations are the devil? Anyway. There are 428, regulatory, uh, 428 agencies. There's, there's like, so there's, there's more than an agency a year has been created since, the, the, since America was a country. Like, we've got almost twice as many agencies as, the, as years that America has been a country, which means an agency has been created. You know, there's, like, sometimes two, agent, two new agencies per year created, which is just madness. So America is being smothered by overregulation. It's like, a, I call it slow strangulation by overregulation. That's the, yeah. I, I would like to ask about natural gas and lithium. That's kind of what... Um, Pennsylvania is rich of, of natural resources and fracking gas and lithium, which could benefit not only our state, but our entire country. Um, however, many residents, and I have to be honest, along 350 miles of Pennsylvania um, had real challenges like eminent domain and the destruction of water sources, such as what happened with the Mariner East Pipeline. How can we ensure that while utilizing these resources, we work closely with local governments and residents without the federal government overreaching and forcing land from homeowners. Um, effective communication homeowners. with citizens and their involvement in these decisions is crucial. What role do you see for technology or private industry in making sure that this process is transparent and fair? Because believe you me, lots of people were forced with eminent do domain and aquifers poisoned all across Pennsylvania, including our veterans. And this has been a real problem for, since 2016. So we want to support our workers and use our gas and, sure. and I want it, but we need to be careful of what we're taking from people who've lived here, families for centuries. Uh, certainly, it's, I mean, I believe in sensible regulation. So, but what, but what I see happening is that there are all sorts of, there, there, there's a mountain of, of rules that actually don't benefit people, and then there's missing rules that do benefit people. So it's, it's this bizarre Kafka-esque uh, nightmare of regulations um, where ultimately the good of the people is not served. Um, and we, we, we get regulatory, de regulatory delays for things that are, that are fake. Meanwhile, bad things are allowed to happen simply because someone pulled out the paperwork and gamed the system. So that's this one. I mean, it's, when we say the Department of Government Efficiency, I mean, I, I mean addressing, it, it's, it's, it's addressing you know, any, any issue which is not in the interest of the people. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and, and we do need to, at times, fight against uh, what large corporations are pushing for, because some of them are very short-term, um, and they, so, some large corporations do bad things. Corporations now I'm going to pass out. Well, I mean, like, these people are just nuts. They're cranks. Like, they're conspiracy theorists, or they are just completely, like, off their rocker, you know? Like, and Elon Musk is just right there with them. Like, he, we are peering into the delusional core of fascist America. You know, like, Donald Trump was relatively isolated when he rose in 2016. You know, at, at least in terms of, like, the establishment coalescing around him and, like, uh, people really joining him sincerely in his insanity. But now, like... This is where the Republican base is. Like people, like some people are good people. You know, it's like, you know, some, some corporations are good. Some are sort of 
meddling, and some, sometimes some corporations are bad, and it's uh, just like people, you know, is the way to think of corporations. So we've got to stop the corporations that want to do bad things. Yeah, true, Electra. It is hard to sleep when they're just so, the, the dog whistles are just so loud, you know, hard to do. Uh, make sure they're doing things that are the interest of, in, the, in the interest of the people. Uh, and then co corporations that want to do good things, they shouldn't be slowed down by smothering re regulation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I think these things should be done very much in the open so people can understand what's going on and nothing, you know, in the shadows. So, so sunlight is the best disinfectant. Yeah. Hey, Elon, how are you? I'm uh, Brad. Uh, these are two tough acts to follow here, but uh, my question is a little more simple. Uh, what are some of the first courses of action you plan to take as a head of government efficiency if uh, Trump gets elected and you one have any personal, areas of concern? One yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, well, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I definitely, uh, you know, the focus right now is making sure that, that uh, Trump wins the election. Um, otherwise, it doesn't matter. And, and I think if, if, if uh, Trump loses, we're going to see, you know, our cities are going to get less safe. Uh, the border is obviously going to be wide open. Um, we're going to see government spending go ballistic. It's inflation go nuts. It's going to be just bad on, on every level. And, 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 and like the, fundamentally, if the, if the current trend of, of you know, strang str of strangulation by overregulation is not turned around, we'll never get to Mars. It just will be illegal. Oh no! It, um, it will be illegal to go to Mars. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my god! Just everything that is everything that comes out of his mouth is the stupid, stupidest possible formulation. And there will be a one-planet civilization. There won't be a space-faring civilization, and Starfleet will, will never be real. Um, it's not real right now. Starfleet's fictional. And we want Starfleet to be real. Yeah. So, you know, uh, now I, I've had quite a bit of interaction with the government, uh, you know, because uh, SpaceX is the biggest uh, NASA contractor, actually. There's, there's a lot of work for NASA. And I'm a big fan of the agency, by the way. Um, but but it's but there's you know there are expenditures that don't make a lot of sense uh, that that are wasteful, um, and uh, we, we need to put a stop to that. Um, honestly, the, 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 there's so much government waste that's going on that I would call it a target-rich environment. Like you, it's hard like, in every direction. There's this just mad waste, and I think simply if if people simply know that well if if they waste a ton of taxpayer money they're going to get fired. It, that will immediately improve the situation. Immediately. Will, will it, though? Because they already know that that's not that that that's bad for their jobs. They they know that right now. Oh my god. It's like. Yeah, it's, it's just literally, and, and, and I think, but actually, it's, it's going to be both carrot and stick. It's like, so if, if a government official is very effective in spending your money, to your, to tax of fair money is your money. <laughs> so, if they're effective in spending your money, they should be promoted. They should be. The waste they're talking about is welfare programs. I mean, it's not just welfare programs, though. Like, that, that is part of it, but it's not just welfare programs. It's like, they, they're also talking about, like, Americans with disabilities. They're also talk uh, act. They're also talking about regulations that keep, you know, the Bitcoin farms from uh, pouring toxic sludge into your water supply. You know, they they're also talking about like wasteful government programs that are, you know, like designed to do corporate welfare. Like they want certain types of these things, certainly. Like they, yeah, infrastructure. They want to privatize anything that might be possibly under public purview. You know, like it, it's so far beyond just welfare programs. Be rewarded, and if and if they waste your money or or do it do something that's basically corruption, they should be fired. Obviously, um, 
you know, they have a duty to spend your money well. Yeah. Hey, Elon. Um, as a veteran who was deployed because of a lie that was told 21 years ago. Uh, a lot of lies, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a lot of lies. So with Harrison yeah. Walls running on a campaign to make disinformation illegal, what yeah. would you say? Disinformation mean, just means information they don't like. So what would you say? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. So Got him. What would you say to uh, an administration and a candidacy that is spreading lies or disinformation about the troops that are currently in combat, my friends? Yeah, can uh, you believe that was said? The CIA and Hunter Biden's laptop president's decline and so on. Yeah, I mean, during the, the you know, Trump-Kamala debate, she said there was no active duty soldiers out there. I'm like, I know a whole bunch of what? When did Kamala Harris say there were no active duty soldiers anywhere? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's a, that's so, that's a shameful, terrible lie. She, and she wasn't even fact checked. And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I just like to say, for, for the people, for the, for the Americans out there who are serving in dangerous places right now, unlike what Kamala said, thank you for your service to the country. God, it's, it's so transparent. He doesn't give a shit about troops. You should know he doesn't give a shit about troops. That, like, this is just lies. Elon, thank you for... Oh, active troops in any war zone around the world. Ah, uh, I see. So it's not a full quote. Stepping up to help America when you don't have to. Like, you could be on an island right now. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes, the noble billionaire. You, you could be doing anything, and yet you choose to labor on behalf of us, the people. Glug, glug, glug. No, like, he's there. He's doing this because he can make more money by doing it. And you're a sap for believing otherwise. I, 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 you know, it, 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 I, I could be, you know, I could, I, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a lot of jobs. Um, so, um, no, it's true. I mean, there are, you know, a lot of people who an, are an on a yacht, island, true. So, been a Mai Tai, whatever, in an island, you know, having, have, and, you know, uh, that, that is a thing I could be doing. Um, but <laughs> Why do people keep bringing up Hunter Biden's laptop? I mean, honestly, the, the, real, the reason they keep bringing it up, right, is because they want to have some kind of like, see, the president was giving his son kickbacks. This was a money laundering operation by Joe Biden. And like the reality is like, oh, 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 wait. The, don't, don't look into Trump's kids, though. So they, they, to them, it's, it's salacious. They get to talk about Hunter Biden's dick. They get to, you know, talk about how he was doing, doing prostitutes and having drug parties. Like, it doesn't fundamentally change much. But I, but I think I, I, I can't. But it makes them feel like they're doing something, you know? I can't do that if, if, if I think the future of civilization is at stake, which I do. Um. Is Hunter Biden suing Fox News for the Hunter Biden laptop stuff? Or is he suing Fox News for defamation because they put together a fake trial of him on their, uh, on their website as a like a 12-part miniseries that is just dedicated to slandering him. I, I think it's largely not because of their reporting, but largely because of the miniseries they made about him. Yeah, they, they put together a series called The Trial of Hunter Biden.
Yeah, Fox Nation drops trial of Hunter Biden miniseries after threats of legal action. Yeah, for defamation for what? Defamation, like that, that's the thing. Yeah, you you can sue anyone for defamation about anything. Defini defamation for what? That's That was my question. Oh, oh, is it nude footage used in the miniseries that I just talked about? Crazy. Thank you. I feel like my level of patience is almost completely gone. Question. My question for you, I guess. Um, one, do you know Alberto Congawala? He's the system manager for... Uh, Why are you mad? Because I just explained that the, the I was asking if the lawsuit was for defamation for something else just for reporting, or if it was for the miniseries, and you were like, for defamation, and then linked to an article that was the thing that I was saying. So that's why I'm upset. And now we're spending like three minutes talking about this for no reason. A Europa Clipper. Oh, which you sent- that's, that's a cool mission, by the way. Which it's you really sent into space on Monday. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Absolutely, right? in fact, that, that was a mission where I, I talked to the you know, SpaceX team. It's like, you know, every mission's important. It's not your fault, Catalina Gearbox. I'm just really cranky. I'm cranky, and I'm upset. But, you know, this mission's extra important. Uh, so. And I feel like I'm not communicating my points well enough, which is something that immediately makes me angry. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it, 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 I'm like, you know... I, I want to. I don't. I think like you. Like like I think any any most people. I want to. I do not want group hugs. I want vengeance and retribution. Future where you look forward to it and you're excited. And maybe a cookie, but I don't get any of those things. Instead, I get to be sad and uh, marginalized. Yay. About what's going to happen? That we're going to learn new things. That we're, you know, we're going to. It's going to be better than the past. Um, you know, in a future where we're, we're a space-faring civilization, and we're out there among the stars, uh, where Star Trek is real. I fucking hate this guy. Like, I, I'm sorry. Oh, where, where Star Trek is real? Like, you're literally standing against all of the core values, like, demonstrated in Star Trek by doing what you do, both as a businessman and now as a political entity. Congrats. Literally every main character, every side character in Star Trek would despise you for being a spineless bigot. You know? Even even Khan. Even Khan Noonien Singh would fucking hate you for being spineless. A spineless jag. That's exciting. I mean, they have to be, like, Fuck life you. can't just be about solving one problem after another. They have to be things that inspire you, that move your heart. Yeah. Hi, you yeah. Like, we, we, that's a hard one to build, but we, we, at some point we should build a warp drive. Um, but you know. Yeah, the, we should really get on that. <laughs> but even without the warp drive, the uh, you know the um, Starship, it, the rocket made by SpaceX, is capable of building a city on Mars and a city on the Moon. No, it's not. It's not capable of doing that, you lying sack of shit. That's what it's designed to do. But, but we're, we're being massively uh, uh, slowed down by regu regulatory molasses. Yeah, the, o the only reason we're not on Mars is because uh, regulations preventing us from putting heavy metals into your drinking water exist. Checkmate, liberals. Um, I and mean, I'll tell you like a crazy thing. Like We got fined $140,000 for, by the EPA for, for dumping fresh water on the ground. Drinking water. It's crazy. Like, I've seen it. You know what? I haven't heard about this story. Let's play a fun game. Let's play a fun game called looking up what the fuck he means. 
Uh, space X find by EPA for dumping water. All right. SpaceX wants to go to Mars. To get there, environmentalists say it's trashing Texas. Standing before a crowd of onlookers. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Buh, 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 buh. Musk might see Starship as an arc for all God's creatures, but environmentalists tell a different story. A Starship, as Starship prototypes have begun flying from SpaceX's launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas, they say the company has shown little regard for the wildlife Musk has said he wants to protect. Now a review of state and federal records by NPR, including some obtained through a Freedom of Information request, shows how SpaceX has sometimes ignored environmental regulations as it rushed to fulfill its founder's vision. With each of its launches, records show the company discharged tens of thousands of gallons of what regulatories classify as industrial wastewater into the surrounding environment. Oh, so it wasn't just drinking water, it was industrial wastewater. You mean poisonous water into the environment. In response to the discharges of water from the pad, both the Environmental Protection Agency and the Texas Commission for Environmental Quality have determined that SpaceX has violated the Clean Water Act. Both agencies levied fines totaling more than $150,000 against the company in September. The consequences of actions like these are real, environmental groups say. Spa SpaceX's launch site is surrounded by a state park and wildlife refuge, home to hundreds of thousands of shorebirds, sea turtles, and other species. Biologists say the company's st uh, Starship launches are having a measurable impact. A recent report documented how SpaceX's last launch destroyed nests of a vulnerable population of shorebirds. Local environmental groups and members of the Carrizo Comarudo tribe have filed a lawsuit demanding an extensive environmental review of Starship launches, probably, and I'm going out on a limb here, due to the fact that they're dumping industrial wastewater filled with toxic chemicals into the environment with no treatment whatsoever. You know, something that can poison the groundwater for the surrounding communities? I don't know, just some thoughts here. An example of just how crazy it is. And we're like, well, we're just, we're using uh, water to cool the launch pad during launch. You know, we're going to cool the launch pads over here. Elon Musk, the L like Star Trek, erm, X squeeze me sauce. I love nerd culture. I'm so quirky. Love dank memes by my asterisk, 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 ugly truck that doesn't work. Oh, hey, I just invented the cyber bus. It's like a bus butt. <laughs> LB, thank you for the $5 dono. And he really is like that, you know? Effective altruism is some serious bullshit. Also, here is some money for cookies. Matt Diahu, thank you for gifting Will Kale a tier one sub. And I really appreciate that. I really fucking want some cookies. And I want to I wanna cry and eat cookies. That's really where I'm at mentally today. Um, Maybe I'll, like, find a 24-hour gas station or something. I don't know. In an excess of caution, we actually uh, brought in drinking water, so clean, super clean water. And it's not super clean water. It's industrial wastewater, you lying sack of shit. Because no one has a problem with you dumping super clean water into the environment. But something tells me it's not super clean water, like the complaints that were held up in court that found you were dumping industrial wastewater. The FAA said no. that, that held up multiple times in court. Oh, you have to pay $140,000 fine. I wish my autism were more effective. Me too. Instead, I just get angry whenever I feel like I can't communicate my points. It's, it's lovely, a w wonderful condition. Uh, and we're like, but we let Star Starbase is in a tropical thunderstorm area. Sky water falls all the time. <laughs> that is the same as the water that we used. It's lots of sky water. So I hate I hate him so fucking much. Oh, so, and, and it's like we didn't actually there's no harm to to anything. And they said, yeah, citation needed. I didn't have a permit. We're like, you need a permit for fresh water. Are, are you what? Yeah, it's just it's just totally crazy stuff like that. And then they, they said, if we don't pay the fine, we, they're not going to process any of our future applications. So they're like, this is the kind of crazy stuff we're dealing with. Yeah. So. Hi, Elon. 
Uh, my name is Sarah. I'm from Philadelphia. I have a whole team here. Um, I, first of all, but I... Why is he spending so much time on this water thing? Because he hates the regulations, i.e. the Clean Water Act that he violated. <laughs> you know, like, that. that's... At its heart, that's what the issue is. He hates being constrained in any conceivable fashion. And those regulations do constrain him, you know? I'm really excited about your um, re uh, uh, recapping of this uh, rockets and your Hyperloop program. Um, we actually, at this cri critical moment, have a proposal to turn the red, the, the blue states red quickly. Um, I would like Oh man, I really want to hear her plan. I really want to hear what her plan is for turning uh, blue states red. I want, I want that so badly. I'd like to sincerely like to, uh, to accept our protocol, uh, I mean the, the proposal. Um, and um, you know, we want to have some further discussion with you and really thank you for putting everything you have, risking everything you have to support President Trump to take our country back. Well, thank you. Uh, sure. Thanks. Thank you. Hey. All right. Who's, who's this right. guy? All right, sounds good. All right. So, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take a few more questions and then um, and, and then wrap it up. Uh, but uh, yeah, so go ahead. Elon, hi. My name is Kevin, and I grew up uh, right in here, right in Springfield, close by. And I want to thank you for all you've given up. You were the media darling. Singing in the sky water, just singing in the sky water. What a glorious <laughs> feeling I'm polluting again. Singing in the sky water, just singing in the sky water. What a glorious feeling I'm polluting again. I walk down the lane with a cancerous refrain. Just singing, just singing in the sky water. And you've sacrificed everything for freedom right now. And I, I, I want to thank you for my family and everything. Yeah. I, I, thank, thank you for helping to pollute. Thank you for helping to pollute our uh, nation's wetlands, sir. Uh, it's a real honor to be able to drink your runoff. I, I also want to thank you. I want to thank you for all the lives that I that have been saved with, with your full self driving. Oh my God! He literally earlier in this talk talked about how he would never trust his life to a computer program, and he's being thanked by people dumb enough to use that program that he sells them. Never, guys, this is why you never underestimate the median voter in America, okay? This is why you never underestimate the median voter. They are operating so far below what you consider a reasonable bar. I can't, I can't believe and it. And all the future lives will be saved with that. That, that is one of the bravest yeah. things you've pulled off, so thank all the, you. All the I future lives. Day. You're most welcome. Yeah, I think it will save many lives and, and many serious injuries, and also give people their time back so they can... You know, they can just be in the car and do whatever they want and watch, you know, movies or whatever they want to do. Um, it'll be great. Yeah, I, I love a future for people to just sit in cars and watch movies, not paying attention to where they're going. I, amazing stuff. I, I absolutely yeah, median, question. median voter is the worst slurry you can use against somebody. For you is, and this is a very confusing thing in, in Pennsylvania. Do you think that we should, as a voter, vote in person, wait until voting day to vote in person, or do a mail-in ballot right now? I think you should do a, a you, you should vote immediately right now. Yes. Can you, can you explain real quick why? Uh, should you have a pen? I don't know if does somebody have a vote. Oh wow, a little, little kid handing him a MAGA hat. What a touching moment. A pen or something?
what parent put him up to that? No, 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 no. Like that, I, I feel like that had to have been a plan to opt. This entire event is put on by his super pack. He definitely was like, I want, I want to sign a baby's hat. Like th this was 100% a plan, you know? Like a little kid wearing a Captain America, like, outfit to this event. Nah, it's it's a whole it's a whole thing. Yes, register and vote early. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's, I would say vote immediately. Um, vote immediately. So. Let's go. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take one more question and then we'll call it a wrap. Yes, okay. Uh, Yelan, this is uh, Matt here. Here. Uh, Yelan, this is uh, Matt from East West uh, IT uh, Services here. And uh, I'm the uh, chairman for the oh Pennsylvania Chinese Coalition. Uh, we have uh, more than like uh, uh, 40 uh, Chinese uh, groups and also different kinds of associations. Uh, Michaela Rose, thank you for the $10 super chat for no particular reason. I really appreciate that. Thank you so goddamn much. Also, folks, it's a good reminder. We have been going for six hours, six hours, 15 minutes. If you've been enjoying the show, please hit the follow button on Twitch, hit the subscribe button on YouTube, like the goddamn YouTube stream, and please consider to drop dropping those subs and donos because this show at the end of the day is brought to you by viewers like you folks. Couldn't do it without you guys. Could not sit here and watch this incredible liar hold these events without you guys I, I i couldn't do it i physically would be incapable of it and i'm from uh, uh, uh philadelphia we are the, the team and i want to uh know could you give us like a you know uh pennsylvania swing state as especially in uh, philadelphia there's a lot of democrats so could you give us like a three in, uh, top reasons why people should uh, vote for uh, Donald Trump. Sure. Uh, well, it's, it, you know, the reasons that resonate are going to be different sure. depending on who you're talking to. Um, but I, I think the, the, you know, these. Oh, thank you for the additional five dollars. Super. Meant chat. to say, median voter syndrome is deadly and contagious. We must bring back social distancing. True. True. If you if you find yourself alone in a room with a median voter, please flee. You only have seconds to live. The, the ones that resonate, for me at least, are, you know, we want, do we, we want safer cities, we want a secure border. You're Ascended Kitten, thank you for the $5 dono. Goddamn. Let's go! Also, Riverboat, Riverboat.gg, you guys are getting shown up, uh, shown up today. YouTube chat holding down the fort. We want sensible government spending. Uh, we want support of the Constitution and the right, to, you know, freedom of speech, the right to bear arms. And um, that's what Donald Trump is going to do. So. And, and, and God. The, the, the other thing I, I think is maybe, you know, a concern is that uh, I think if, if there's four more years of sort of the Kamala a sort of puppet regime, uh, they're actually going to uh, legalize so many illegals in the swing states that there won't be swing states anymore. And this will be the last election in that case. And, and we'll I invested my money, money in a future Mars trip. Ah, that's right. You too are being held by, back by American regulation. I see. A state like California, 
And you know, in California, they, 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 they re in California, which is mind blowing, they passed a law banning voter ID for any. He thinks SNL lies. Yeah, SNL is a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> All right. So one of the things that um, I think everyone's been sort of wondering this whole time is, is Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live actually live? Like, like live. Live, live, live. Or do they have like a delay or what? like just in case, you know, there's a wardrobe malfunction or something like right. that? Uh, is it like a, you know, Truly live. five second delay? What's really going on? But there's a, there's a way to test this. Right. <laughs> we came up with a way. There's a way to test this. Um, which is, you, we don't tell them what's going on. As I, I walk on and say, this is the script. I'll throw it on the ground. We're going to find out tonight, right now. If Saturday Night Live. If Saturday Night Live is actually live. <laughs> and the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to take my cock out. <laughs> <laughs> I I had never heard of this before, but also uh I feel like this is only something you can say on stage if you are motivated by actually taking your cock out. Like I now I feel like Elon Musk is exactly the kind of guy who just like takes his takes his dick out in front of his secretaries. You know, like that that's like he like his secretary just walks in and he's like hanging out. <laughs> this is wait, the greatest Warren, pitch wait, ever. And, wait. And and if 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 you see my cock, <laughs> you know it's true. And if you don't, it's been a lie. It's been a lie. All these years. All these years. Now, this is We're going to bust them right now. And this yeah, I mean, it, this is giving major Louis C.K. energy, Sam and Moose. I wasn't going to say it, and then you said it, so. We're pitching this. Yeah, yeah, so we're pitching this. On Zoom. Yeah, we're pitching this on Zoom on, on like, a Monday after. We're like, like, yeah. Yeah, we're, like, kind of hungover from the weekend, and we're, like, pitching this. We're in like Miami. Yeah. And, and, and it's, uh, it, it's, you know, Jason's on. Um, and uh, Mike and you. yeah, and, and, and Mike, Mike uh, you know, so essentially got like, you know, who, who, my friends who I think are sort of, you know, quite funny. Um, you know, uh, Jason's quite funny. I, I think like like Jason's the closest thing to Cartman that exists in the real in yes. real life. <laughs> and, yeah. we, um, we have a joke going that he's Butters uh, and I'm Cartman. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and, God, and my friend dude. Mike's pretty funny too. So. So we 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 come in like like just like guns uh, blazing, guns blazing with uh, with like ideas and uh, and we didn't realize like actually you know that gamer G, do you think he has enough media literacy to understand that Cartman is not a an aspirational character? Because uh, I don't think he does. That's not how it works, and 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 uh, yes. that, that's 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 normally like actors, and and they just get told what to do, and like oh, right. What you mean we can't just like. And do so, funny things that we thought of? What? They're, uh, they're watching this, and on the Zoom, they're aghast at yes, no, like, no, no, Elon's the, pitch. Yeah, and it's silence. Like, so I'm like, so, <laughs> and I'm like, and I was like, is this thing working? Is this? Wait, wait, are we muted? Is our, is our mic on? And they're like, we hear you. Yeah, and, and then, and then I, 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 after a long silence, like Mike's, Mike just says the word crickets. Crickets? <laughs> and they're not laughing? <laughs> King Rex uh, Comics, thank you very much for becoming a member. I appreciate you over on the YouTube. So, not, a, not even a chuckle. Nothing. I'm like, what's going and on And then here? Elon explains uh, the punchline, yes, which is... exactly. So there's more to it, okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, fa famously explaining punchlines make them much funnier. <laughs> That's just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so Elon says... So, so, I'm then, I'm, so then I'm like... So, 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 so I said, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to reach down. <laughs> <laughs> into my pants. And, and, into my pants. And I'm going and, and to stick my hand in my pants, and I'm going to, and I'm, and I'm going to pull my cock out. And I tell this to the audience, and the audience is going to be like, what? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say this man needs to bomb at more, like, local hole-in-the-wall comedy clubs. They're, like, that's. 
that's not it's not funny like if you're if you're on stage and you're like i'm gonna pull my cock out people don't suddenly go onto the edge of their seats and gawk waiting for the cock to come out they like this is like a complete and utter lack of awareness this is this is how wealth you know i'm gonna i'm gonna say it. this is how wealth literally makes you like a dumber person he's so insulated and isolated from everyone that he's just completely out of touch with how to interact with others <laughs> and, and, and 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 then and, and then and then and then i pull out a a, a baby rooster <laughs> you know yes ah oh, like a terrible street magician cool and it's like okay this is kind of pg you know it's okay, like it's that not that bad not that it's bad. like it's sort of, it, this is my tiny cock and <laughs> and <laughs> and it's like what do you think uh and so then and that's yep uh snl lied and made him unfunny on purpose cool the election in california whatsoever now they're going to try they're going to try to do that nationwide in fact they, if they can they will do it nationwide if if, if the dems win they'll, they'll ban voter id nationwide so that's why i, I think if, if if trump uh well, that's not pg wait do you, do you mean that pretending to expose yourself to a crowd of people isn't the parental guidance suggested type content weird trump doesn't win this is the last election yeah thank you Oh, thank God, it's over. Oh, thank God. Thank God, I thought we had five more minutes. Oh, my God. We're saved. Oh. Oh, my God. Voter ID, straight to jail. <laughs> hey, Vegcom. It's over. We did it. Sure, we had to suffer intensely along the way. Sure, we had to basically throw chat over our shoulder and haul them out uh, up Mount Doom. And sure, at the end of it, we got attacked by uh, a golem uh, attempting to take our, you know, uh, content for themselves. But you know what? Ultimately, uh, the forces of rage that coursed through us won, won out, and we pushed that golem, that content golem, into uh, a volcano and defeated the evil once and for all. That metaphor works. Don't question it. Don't just roll with it. God damn, going to sleep for real. <laughs> Let's go. I want to watch horror, but you already brought horror. Exactly. So, folks, uh, I think we can officially say, like, it's been true for a long, long time now, but, like, Elon Musk is the dumbest rich guy alive and is currently in the running for dumbest man alive. Um, not just dumbest rich man, dumbest man, period. So I think we've uh, proven it with facts, logic, and science. And uh, I, I think I, I rest my case. Uh, and I'm going to hit the segment button now so that, you know, it, it's, it can live forever on YouTube. <laughs>